Section 2 of Birds, Volume 1, Number 2, February 1897. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Swallow-Tailed Indian Roller Swallow-Tailed Indian Rollers are natives of the northeastern Africa and Senegambia, and also the interior of the Niger District. The bird is so called from its way of occasionally rolling or turning over in its flight, somewhat after the fashion of a tumbler pigeon. A traveler in describing the habits of the roller family says, On the 12th of April I reached Jericho alone, and remained there in solitude for several days, during which time I had many opportunities of observing the grotesque habits of the roller. For several successive evenings, great flocks of rollers mustered shortly before sunset on some donut trees near the fountain with all the noise but without the decorum of rooks, after a volley of discordant screams, from the sound of which it derives its Arabic name of shirkrak, a few birds would start from their perches and commence overhead a series of somersaults. In a moment or two they would be followed by the whole flock, and these gambles would be repeated for a dozen times or more. Everywhere it takes its perch on some conspicuous branch or on the top of a rock, where it can see and be seen. The bare tops of the fig trees, before they put forth their leaves, are in the cultivated terraces, a particularly favorite resort. In the barren gore, I have often watched it perched unconcernedly on a knot of gravel or marl in the plain, watching apparently for the emergence of beetles from the sand. Elsewhere I have not seen it settle on the ground. Like Europeans in the East, it can make itself happy without chairs and tables in the desert, but prefers a comfortable easy chair when it is to be found. Its nests I have seen in ruins, in holes in rocks, in burrows, in steep sand cliffs, but far more generally in hollow trees. The colony of the weighty kilt used burrows excavated by themselves, and many a hole did they relinquish, owning to the difficulty of working it. So cunningly were the nests placed under a crumbling, treacherous ledge, overhanging a chasm of perhaps one or two hundred feet, that were completely foiled in our siege. We obtained a nest of six eggs, quite fresh, in a hollow tree in Bashan, near Gadara, on the 6th of May. The total length of the roller is about 12 inches. The swallow-tailed Indian roller, of which we present a specimen, differs from the European roller only in having the outer tail feathers elongated to an extent of several inches. End of section 2. Recording by Valentina Vicelli.